all right hello everyone hope you're doing all right so today i wanted to touch on internal and external now this is something we have already touched on but now we are going to actually give it a name so let's not waste any time and let's actually dive into the chart straight away all right so what do we have here we have a first line of defense that is your first line of defense right on the daily then we have a last line of defense would be all the way down here now we are in very high momentum so what is the first draw on liquidity in high momentum a sting into fair value gap then continues higher this is actually your first premium raise so this would be your first target and the second target would be that one so if we now dive into the 15 minutes what do we actually see we are coming into that daily fair value gap right there all right that is where we have the sting now i'm scouting for an external move to an internal move now what does that mean external move what is external if we are expecting higher prices all the swing lows right should hold somewhat they should likely see some respect so when we are still moving lower this is an external move so every move below a swing low or an intermediate term low is an external move so right here this is an external move now once we break above that swing high right there then we get an internal move and an internal move is when we have fair value gaps or the blocks that are being respected an external move is a sweep of liquidity so it, it is a turtle soup so this right here is a turtle soup it is an external move then once we break this low and now break that high so that is the first swing high when we break that swing high with that little wick right there we don't have to close above it necessarily that is your market structure shift so we now have an external move first and then we move above that swing high that is your market structure now the most important thing as to how we can know if it will be an external or internal move is if there is some sort of fair value gap in the lag so right here in this lag up we don't have a fair value gap up just yet so what do we see we see a sweep of these lows and afterwards we do get fair value gaps so when we have fair value gaps up in the lag they are more likely to hold and more likely to have an internal move than an external move after we take more highs we have a bigger retracement right here now this can be seen as a bigger internal move but also it is somewhat of an external move and this is what you'll see a lot of times when we are moving higher you sometimes get some sort of sweep in the middle of the lag up and then a move higher again that is your external to now internal because now we are respecting the breaker that was created right there and then we can continue higher and what do we also have in this leg a clear fair value gap so that is external to internal let's go over a bearish example as well all right here we are on es e mini s p now let's take a look at this example so we swept a high right here then we had a fair value gap lower leaving behind that fair value gap with that order block so if we dive into the five minute right here what do we actually see well we are coming into that order block then afterwards we get this external move and now we drop lower we already have a mark structure shift why is this one not holding i'm not going to go into time just yet so some of you may already notice it is only the beginning of london we are going to go into the kill zones later on but if we look at it from a technical standpoint right here yes we had an external but we didn't have an internal just yet so if you want more confirmation then you wait for an internal so a lot of times people will get tricked out by the external first for example there and then you get the real external and the real internal that is what happens a lot of time now how can we prevent this is by first waiting for the external and then waiting for the internal as well and then after an internal you potentially get a new internal and that is where you enter so right here if we take a look at this we have an external 
Then what do we see here? We have an internal, but this is also an external of this one. Then we have a new internal and right there could be your entry, right there. And you can see how we are moving from external to internal. And here you could even say a new external to a new internal. So if this is your new external, you have a new internal then here you have a new internal. An internal can be followed by a new internal. Again, what makes this an external? It's because we are sweeping those highs and we are expecting lower prices. That is the main difference, right? We are expecting lower prices. So the swing highs should somewhat hold when they don't and they get swept. Every time price trades above a swing high, it is now at a premium array. And above that swing high, when we move back below it again, that is where we can short. Then we have an external to now an internal move. And an internal move is mostly confirmed when we have a fair value gap in the leg right there. When we have a fair value gap in the leg, the high is less likely to get swept. Again, that's probabilities. That is not something set in stone, but it is less likely to get swept because you need to understand prices either rebalancing or taking liquidity. So if it's not rebalancing something, then it's what? It's taking liquidity. Then we could wait for more confirmation. So once we move back, up here we have an internal move but we could wait for more information we have a new fair value gap lower we could enter right there if we feel like it and this is fractal right if this was on the higher time frame then we would even look for the same stuff on the lower time frame so if you've noticed and you've actually paid attention to the full a to z guide then i can already confidently say that you now know how to get to your bias how to get to your draw liquidity how to enter which PD race to use, where to target, where to place your stop loss. It's stuff we've all went over, but a lot of stuff went over your head <laughs> if you didn't pay attention. But again, we will dive deeper and deeper into it. We are not finished yet. All right, then this is it for external internal, and then I will see you on Friday. All right, perfect. Study and take care. Thank you.